all right so good night again everyone this is mr williams and tonight we are going to do a very interesting lesson actually place value so what we're seeing here now is the objective and the objective is basically to fulfill all that is on the agenda as you can see on the agenda we have place value we'll be looking at that first what exactly it is we have three activity activity one two and three and the homework okay and so as you can see can you read okay and the target audience is the apps students basically the apps students which is alternate pathway secondary education so this is a target audience but others who can benefit from it whether NSC you know or six C or keep or you know once you can benefit that's okay so this is basically the objective is that we're gonna fulfill all that is on the agenda now let us go over now to the lesson table <coughs> So as you can see here, you're looking at what the word there, place value. Now look at this big number. Are you able to call this big number? So we know that when, we, when we're calling number, we, we start from where? The left, right? The extreme left, which is the number three, and we call that way, right? So let us try. So 3,245,000. Five hundred and sixty-eight, right? Did you get it correct? If you get it correct, give yourself a thumbs up. All right, good. For those who did not get it correct, let us try again. Three million two hundred and fourteen thousand five hundred and sixty-eight dollars. This would be really nice to be in your bank account right now. But don't put anything above the Lord, Jesus. He said, with man, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So, $3,214,568. Wow, would we not love this to be in our bank account? Who's to tell? Maybe one day or someday, right? No, the question is, why are we able to call the number? It is because the number of what is called place value, or each digits of the number have what is called place value. And the place value comes in whereas the digit, depending on where it is placed, it has a value so it depends on where it is placed it have a value and that is why it's called place the value where is the three place it's placed over here it have a value and if it did place right here it may have a different value that's why it's called place value so we're able to call numbers because of the place value but we'd love to know what each digit of this number this big number what each digit value what are the value what 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 is it called what is the value of eight what is the value of six what is the value of five what is the value of four what is the value of one what is the value of two what is the value of three now down here we have a little chart <laughs> that will help you to memorize so what i've done i've written out the numbers down here and we're going to practice the values now. So what I want you to notice now is that there are some actual real money to help you to memorize. You know, the order in which the value, the value of, of the digits come. So this actually, all the money is laid out from the 8 going back to that direction. Is actually the standard order you understand what I mean it is the standard order oh the place values are actually laid out so notice 
to the extreme right, as you can see the eight, we start with the one. As you can see, this is a one dollar. So from the extreme right, we always start with the one. And if there is another number, it start with the 10. So one, 10. You understand? One, 10. And after the 10, we move on to hundreds. So ones, tens, hundreds. Try to remember. One, tens, hundreds. So as we move to the left, the value of each number is getting bigger, as you notice. Are you seeing what is happening? To the extreme right where we start to check the value, it is actually ones, tens, hundred. And after the hundred, which money is you see now? The thousand. Hmm? And that's why you were able to say 4,568 dollars. Remember, you know, six times... 10 is how much? 68 dollars. Hmm? Alright, so start again. Ones, tens, try to memorize now. Hundreds, thousands, and after thousand now, what do you see? What is this? 10,000. Hmm? So let us start back again. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So you see the value of the four? Thousand. And the value of the one here? Represent what? 10,000. So notice the value of the 1 doesn't mean 1s. As you can see, the the, what, the 8, the digit 8 is represented by 1s. So depend on where it is placed, that's it, it that determines the value that it has. And that is why it's called place value. Where is the 1 placed? Understand? So not because it the digit is 1 means that the, the actual place value is 1. It is depend and where it is placed. So let us start back again. So the, the value of 8 is 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000, 10,000. And after 10,000, what do you see now? 100,000. And after 100,000, what do you see? 1 million. So actually, we don't have a 1 million in a paper money. Who's to tell? Is there maybe in the future, don't know how soon that is, and maybe your name, no, your face might be the face that will be on it. Don't doubt yourself, don't doubt the Lord, right? So let us start back again. So the value of eight is actually ones, tens, hundreds, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million. So what is the value of 8? 1s. The value of 6? 10s. The value of 5 is what? 100. As you can see, the value of 4 is 1,000. The value of the 1 is 10,000. And the value after 10,000, the money is getting bigger now. The value is getting bigger. 100,000. And after 100,000 is a million. Now let's go again now. So ones, try to picture the money in your mind now. Tens, after tens, what money do you see? Uh, let her come up here. I don't want you to cheat now. I start back over. What money do you remember seeing? Ones, tens, hundreds. What money do you remember seeing after the hundred? Thousand, after the thousand, what money you see? You see the ten, thousand, don't. And after the 10,000, what do you see? The 100,000, right? And last, you see the million, which will hold your face on it. So let's start back one more time. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. After the thousand is 10,000, and then 100,000, then a million. Now, let us know. This activity, activity number one. Remember I said we're going to have three activity. What I want you to do is to close your eyes and list the number you remember from seeing from right to left. Right? So what I want you to do is to, to close your eyes and list the money. Sorry about number. It's the money you remember seeing from right to left. So you're starting from this side. Close your eyes right now. So I'm going to close my eyes. What do I remember seeing? The first money I saw was ones and then I saw 
tense. Follow me now. Follow me now. Close your eyes. And then I saw mm, what well, after ten hundreds, and after hundred, I remember seeing the thousand dollar fold, and then I see ten thousand because I saw ten dollar with a thousand dollar, and after the ten thousand, I saw the hundred thousand, and then I saw a million dollar, one million with our name, our our image on it, or your image or my image. Close your eyes again, and try to visualize one more time what money you, you you saw from right to left you let us do it together after three one two three i saw ones then tens then hundreds then thousand then ten thousand then hundred thousand then a million no don't open your eyes as yet just try now visualize it from from left to right so we're starting from the biggest digit you place value now to the lowest so from the right i remember seeing the million and then hundred thousand and then ten thousand and then thousand then hundred and then i saw tens and ones all right if you get it right applaud yourself so we're going to move now to the next activity so that is activity number one i believe you are doing well so far now with activity number two i actually have some different a different number here which is different from the original number that we saw, right? So let us call this number. This number is 3,235,679. And based on what we remember, the nine would represent which value? Remember the, the money, the, the actual money, the real money that you saw? Starting from this side, it would be one, tens, hundred, thousand, then 10,000, remember the money? Then 100,000, then a million. Excellent. One more time. So before you start to do your match as to what to go to what, ensure that you know the values first. Okay, start again. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, 10,000, 100,000, million. You understand? So because of the place value, we're able to call this number. No, let us go. I did number one for you. So three... I remember it's actually 1 million. So what is the place value for 2? How do you know? Let us check back now. All right. So we don't have to start from this direction. Remember I, tell, I told you to close your eyes and start now from the bigger digit, which is from the left to the right. So after 1 million, remember 1 million, what came first? What came first? It, what came before 1 million? It was about 100,000, right? So it would go to 100,000. So the value of 2 will go to 100,000. So that's why it's good that you know the values coming from any direction, whether left to right or right to left. 3 is closer to the left. So if here is 100,000, which value come before it? Remember, it was 10,000. So 3 actually represents 10,000. So 10,000 is actually down all the way to the extreme bottom right there all right now and the value of five since the value is closer to the this side so let's check ones tens hundred thousand so the value of five is actually what thousand right all right so i'm not going to do it for you no i want you to tell me what's the value of six this would be what mm 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 so the value of six would be what? Mm, 100, all right, I hear you telling me 100. So that's 100, so let me mark it now. So right there, so you're doing well. What's the value of the seven? That's, hmm, hmm, what was that? Okay, I hear, I hear the tens. Okay, all right, I see that you love this activity. And automatically the value of nine would be what? Ones, all the way up here. So clap yourself, clap yourself, clap yourself. All right, now moving to activity number three. All right, activity number three basically says write true or false if the digit has the right place value beside it. Now, before we're going to do, we're going to call this big number here. This is what? Five million. You understand? One, what do you know it's, 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 it's million? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you have a seven digit, it's actually a million. Just remember that. So it's five million, 
241,967. So starting from this side, do you remember what money do you, do you see? So this would be what? What's the place value? Million, hundred thousand. I remember seeing the $10, 10,000. I remember seeing the thousand. I remember seeing the hundred right here and the $10 right here and the $1 right here. So it would be what? Starting from this side, million, hundred thousand, ten thousand, million, hundred, tens, ones. Starting from this side, ones, tens, hundred, thousand. After thousand is what? What did you saw? Ten thousand, then what? Hundred thousand, then a million. Excellent. So what you're going to write now, notice for the five, I did the first one. The first one. So five, it does it represent one? I put false. So I always try to do one for you first that you can understand what exactly what exactly you have to do, right? So false. Five is not it's not the ones. Five represent millions, right? Two. We have hundred thousand. Where is the two? Is this correct? True or false? Alright, so what I'm gonna do actually this activity you were supposed to do by yourself. So I want you to pause the video right now and write this down. Do the activity then come back to the answer so it's actually seven of them let us see we'll get the seven out of ten pause the video do the activity come back to the answer all right now now that you're back let us go to the answer sheet and see what we get for the answer so the answer sheet is actually here the answer sheet so for the five is false for the two is true for the four is false for the one is true for the nine is true for the six is false for the seven is false. Let us check before we go to the homework to see if it is actually so. For the five is false. Let us see now. For the five is false. Let us see if it's false. Yes, because five is not ones. All right. Two is hundred thousand, so it's actually true. For the four, is it tens? No, this is not tens because this represents. Let us say one million hundred thousand. 10,000 and this this is not 10 this is 10 right here so this is actually false this EF sorry about that and this is true Wait, right now for the one the one from starting right here ones tens hundred thousand do we have thousand yes so the, the one is true all right now we have 900 are we looking for hundred so let's see, ones, tens, hundred. Hundred, we have hundred, so that is true. That is true. No, for the six, do we have a million? Six, let us see what six represent. Ten, ones, tens. And this is saying that six represent a million. No, it's five represent a million, so that is false. And for the seven, does it represent ten thousand? What does the seven represent? Seven represent ones. So this is actually false. Who get the seven out of seven? All right, all right. So I believe you're all doing well now for the homework. Here is the homework. This this digit here one two three four five six seven. So this is actually six million two hundred and thirty one thousand five hundred and forty eight for the homework. You're going to write what is the value, the place value of each digit in the number above. What is the place value? For example, you're going to write down 8 and you're going to write what the place value is. And what I want you to actually do is to write it like in different order. Don't write it like this. So you're going to write down, for example, 8, 1, 2, 3. So you're going to write it in a random order. Okay, and then you're going to write the place values beside it beside each digit okay write it in a random order for example eight you know eight notice e one three five but ensure that you have all the digits you're not going to write it out in in this order you understand you're going to write it down in a random order and then you say all right what's the place value of one based on the number let us see where the one is starting from this side million hundred thousand ten thousand this would be a thousand. I starting from this side. Ones, tens, hundred thousand. You understand what I mean? So that is your homework. So thanks again and please enjoy and please look out for exciting videos like this one. Okay? Alright, enjoy the rest of your day now.